Let us consider a container having a gas at pressure P. Let V be its volume and T be its temperature. Let there be a movable piston which means the piston can move up and down according to the variations in temperature. Now let Q1 or TQ1 be the heat supply this to this system. But we know heat supply to a system will be equal to NCT2 where N means the number of moles, C the molar specific heat capacity and DT the increase in temperature. Suppose the heat DQ1 is applied such that the volume doesn't change which means the volume V constant. The heat is supplied such that the volume doesn't change. Then we have DQ1 is equal to applying this equation N CV. CV means the molar specific heat capacity at constant volume times temperature. Well, CV equal to molar specific specific heat capacity at constant volume at constant volume. Okay. But for if n equal to 1, which means number of moles is 1, then dq1 is equal to cv dt. Let's call that as equation number 1. But you know the, the piston is not racing or the piston remains stationary, which means there is no increase in volume. We have the heat supply is used for increasing internal energy. That is also dq1 is equal to du is equal to which means the change increase in internal energy and you know dq1 equal to cv dt let's call that as equation number one this one here now what if what if you supply another quantity of heat such that it moves the piston upward suppose piston is raised. Suppose uh, if you are supply a heat dq2 which increases the volume which means this is the final position and this is the initial position. This one is the initial position of the piston. Now this is the final position. So there is an increase in volume. Clear. Which means the gas moves, moves the piston upward. So work is done by the gas on the piston. So the new heat heat supply dq2 is equal to now the volume is not constant but we keep the pressure constant. Pressure in here is constant. So the heat supplied will be you can call that as ncp dt which means that here the pressure is constant and for one mole, one mole we have dq2 equal to cp dt since n is equal to 1. Clear. Now let's look at the equation dq2. The heat is used for increase in internal energy plus a work is done to move the piston. So dq2 can be written as dq2 is equal to an increase in internal energy plus the work done to move the piston TW and you know DQ2 is equal to CPDT. Call that as equation number 2. Now let's take the equation, let's write the equation 2 in here. We have DQ2, DQ2 is equal to du plus dw but you know dq2 equal to cpdt cpdt is equal to but du we already found that as cvdt cvdt plus work is always pressure times volume 
per okay now let's simplify this so cp dt is equal to cv dt plus here the pressure in the second case for the dq2 the pressure remains constant so this is equal to pd let's call that as equation number three now if you divide equation three divided by dt you will get cp dt by dt is equal to cv dt by dt plus p dv by dt that is you can cancel this dt and dt here also it will get cancelled therefore cp equal to cv plus p dv by dt now let's look at the equation pv by dt you know for an ideal gas for an ideal gas for an ideal gas we have pv is equal to nrt and also for one more pv is equal to rt if n equal to 1 now if you take the derivative of derivative on both sides if you take the derivative on both sides of this equation that is d with respect to temperature d by dt of pv is equal to d by dt of r rt so this is equal to p is constant so p dv by dt is equal to r is constant r dt by dt which means p dv by dt is equal to r this one is one so here you can write that as r universal gas constant so cp equal to cv plus r and this relation is called mayer's relation mayer's relation this is called Mayer's relation or you can write CP CP minus CV equal to R you can write in this way also from it is from this it is clear that CP is always greater than CV and CP is always great that is CP is always greater than CV by an amount of universal gas constant. Clear. Yeah.